Japanese mailed pipe bombs have triggered postal investigations across the country. Elise Haas spoke with the Portland Postal Inspector to find out how they are tracking hazardous packages. Portland Postal Inspector Adam Sale told us as soon as they found out pipe bombs were sent to prominent Democrats, including Hillary Clinton and former President Barack Obama, his office started working with law enforcement. USPS receives hundreds of thousands of packages and letters a day, so the Postal Service has several levels of security to flag dangerous mail. The first line of defense, employees trained to spot mail that's out of place. Things like excessive tape, oily stains, protruding wires, incorrect titles. Suspicious packages go straight to the postal inspectors, and that's where the dangerous mail program uses high-tech resources and x-rays to figure out what's inside. If employees think it's a threat, they clear the area and call 911. In the wake of these mailed bombs, we reached out to our local Democratic lawmakers to find out what they're doing to stay safe. Congressman Earl Blumenauer's office told us the congressional office is being diligent about security and screening the mail. Senator Jeff Merkley's office says they're continuing with their established security measures. But Senator Ron Wyden's office said they don't talk about security measures and referred us to the Capitol Police. The Portland Postal Inspector says while their focus is on these mailed bombs right now, their overall goal is to preserve the integrity of the mail system and to ensure a safe environment for employees, customers, and the public. In Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.